A bright, colorful morning to you. Thank you for joining us all the way from Monday. And today is Thursday. Every Thursday, we are very intentional about your health, how you present yourself inside out. We all have the habit of looking amazing from the outside, not taking care of what's happening inside of us. But the Morning Drift is very particular on the healthy inside out segment. And today, if you're following us on social media, what are your questions on what to use appropriately for your skin? All right, very important. Are you misusing a good product? And when you do misuse this, what then does this mean to your skin? And when something happens to your skin sometimes, it's not when you go to a dermatologist or you go to a cosmetic shop, they say, well, you're going to have to do a bit of internal work before we can do something on your skin. I think I've had that before. If you shared my sentiments, allow me to welcome my guests on set today. You look amazing. Thank you. you your too. skin speaks for itself. <laughs> Thank you. Um, please introduce yourself um, and how you feel this morning. Your camera is right there. Okay. And why this skin care routine or use of product uh, properly is really something you're passionate about. All right. Caribou. So my name is Sony Kamau, but I'm known as Sony Touch. I am a certified skincare specialist. I treat acne, hyperpigmentation, everything skincare. Uh, we, we, we're using um, products wrongly because of one or two reasons, yeah? Okay. But I would really love to begin from the beginning because I always say before something goes wrong, it's generated from somewhere. All right. Yeah. There's an underlying issue. Exactly. Yes. So before someone starts using the product uh, wrongly, mm -hmm. we need to ask ourselves what happened? What is it that they did wrong? And, and when, we, when we're talking about um, asking someone, mm -hmm. you are certified. Yes. <clears throat> are people, how many certified skincare you know, uh, specialists do we have? We could say we have this number of doctors, we have this number of, but because uh, we want to know, uh, and are you, uh, do you go through training? Yes. Yes. Um, as I said, I'm certified. Mm -hmm. I'm a certified skincare specialist. So I did my uh, three years training. I started here in the country and then I flew out to further my studies. Uh, so I'm always advancing mm -hmm. because to me this is not just a business, it's more of a, a call. And you see with the call, uh, it's so uncomfortable, so demanding, even sometimes when you've just gone to bed. There's that, there's that couple that's always going through your mind, okay. like I really need to check up on this. All right. So you wake up, do the research, continue studying. Okay. So there's a lot involved. So the information you're about to get here is actually research, scientifically pro uh, proven, yes. and people need to take it seriously. Yes. So you are going to just start us off already on what is the underlying issue, where are we coming from, to the point now we have to discuss uh, improper use of skincare products. Okay, uh, first thing first, I, even before we go to product, yeah, okay. the best thing to do is uh, yes. uh, consult. Okay, yes. the best thing you need to do first is to consult because if you don't consult and end up having all these other products, when something goes wrong, where will you fall back to? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that is one important thing that most people don't know, mm -hmm. and those who know, they ignore it. Okay. Because, um, allow me to say this again, <laughs> I've had this before here, <laughs> this is Africa. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> there's so many things, honestly speaking, that we take for granted you will find someone saying consultation, I can only pay a doctor for consultation. Mm -hmm. But this is service, okay? You're dealing with a certified uh, person, so, so are not save investing. your skin, yes. save your money, you know, save yourself from all this stress and do a proper consultation. All because right. if you start using products and something goes wrong, you that person is just a phone call away. You'll call them and tell them the progress, the experiences that you're having with your skincare product, mm -hmm. and they'll be able to guide you accordingly. All right. Now, when you're talking about who to consult when it comes to your skin and the products, okay. we're coming in shortly. I want to take a short breather because I'm being told there's something we need to quickly uh, correct, but we're coming with you. Don't go too far away. It's probably a one-minute break, and we get deeper into this conversation on the healthy inside out. <laughs>
bit okay now. Okay, I know there's little much, there's not much you can do yeah. about it, uh, but thank you for accepting. I didn't even to, notice. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, it's TV, it happens. Okay. So just put yourself in order and relax. Mm -hmm. uh, don't be too cautious about it. If there's nothing much we can do, we'll figure it out next time. For yeah. A better okay. outfit. Um, but let's see now, we were going to talk uh, about the... Um, consultation and investing in consultations uh, because that's where you get the tips yeah reading the packages knowing yeah. your skin type and then we look at if you don't use them properly what do you expect this is where you start telling us the acne Back, this is the Healthy Inside Out segment, and of course, Francis Muroki. We are appreciating you even in this segment. Keep talking to us. We are live on Facebook just in case you're stepping out. Don't worry. You're a girl who's dealing with acne, and you've been wondering what is wrong with my skin. I have tried that, tried this, tried the other one, but it's not working. We're trying to see how we can bring you glowing and amazing skin back to how it was as baby skin, right? Let's figure that out with the expert on set. We're so happy. To learn <laughs> and you you mentioned about you know people putting less interest in investing in their skincare and they say it's a bit too expensive uh, but but why is it expensive and why is it very important to consult first before you proceed uh, when you talk about, about the expenses um, in skincare first thing first would you prefer a uh, buying products after projects or you'd prefer like saving that money and get a consultation a proper done consultation mm -hmm. because this is what it will help you save all this um, money i hear people saying it's expensive honestly speaking i won't lie mm -hmm. um it is also depending with where you're getting your treatment done uh also areas we know with different areas comes with different prices and those are things that uh, we have to factor in as well. Okay. Yeah, so when it comes to consultation, uh, I prefer, I, or rather I urge people to do consultation because it saves, it saves you a lot, mm -hmm. not just your money. It will save you your skin. It will save you from having too much stress, which will lead to mental health. It will save you from going, uh, pulling down your self-esteem and confidence. All right, and we mentioned mental health, that is the inner health, you know, and, and now let's take a look at what if I don't take it seriously and don't invest, what happens to my skin then? Can we talk about the physical manifestations of not properly consulting into this skin care? Now, depending with the condition that you have, uh, or rather whatever skin, because mostly people with uh, normal to dry skin, these are people with flawless skin. Oh yes. okay. okay, they actually don't see the need of uh, taking good care of, this, of their skin because they're flawless. The lawless tell you, I don't have a pimple, I don't see why I need to take care of my skin. Truth be told, the damage is happening underneath your skin. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. that's how you end up with a sagging skin, that's how you end up with a dull skin, and if there are people who age fast, are people with a normal skin type and dry skin type because they neglect their skin. Reason being, they don't have acne. They don't have uh, skin issues, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. understand? Yes. So skincare is for everyone, and we all should put an effort to taking care of our skin as, as well as watching what we are consuming. Okay. Because sometimes we do blame skincare products, and it's not even about product, it's what you're consuming as well. Okay. Yeah. 
So while well, you did not answer my question, you only mentioned the sagging skin. What else do we experience? We do. Out of not using, not like they have a condition, but they're not using a certain product properly. You mentioned rashes, irritations. Yeah. The acne could also be, but what are these medical conditions that now come forth that you have to deal with? Uh, you will have a skin reaction such as uh, a skin flare up. You know, uh, if you use that after you've used the products wrongly. Yeah? Okay, okay. Now, this will depend with pro which product are you using because different products causes different reactions. So you might end up with um, acne, even though you didn't have acne, mm -hmm. you might end up with uh, 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 some redness on your skin. Um, very bad skin rashes that won't go away. Okay. You will end up with a hyperpigmentation. You will end up with a sensitized skin. Mm -hmm. What is that? A sensitized skin is um, a skin that after you've used too many products, you've exposed yourself to the sun, or you've rather used products that have harmful uh, ingredients, so they'll end up damaging your skin from inside. So inside, that okay. way you end up with a sensitized skin, which means your acid mantle is broken. All right. Yeah, you've ever seen people who go out to the sun and then they, they turn pink around here, uh -huh. especially those who use mkorogos. Eh? Uh -huh. All those people. Mkorogos, for those who are watching abroad, is bleaching agents. Yes. <laughs> that are not uh, substantial. Yeah. All right, now let's talk about, um, you have mentioned harsh content. But what is the harsh content that you should look out for when you are buying a product that will hurt your skin to the levels that you're mentioning right now? Maybe there are things you need to read uh, when you're buying a product. Which ones are the ones to look out for? Now, skin, uh, skin goes with skin types. Mm -hmm. So every skin type, they have their uh, skin um, ingredients. I'm not quite sure because I've... I've uh, done this before and I honestly don't really feel like uh, even when we mention that um, people get the right information because okay. as I've said skin care does not only go with skin type it goes with the skin condition all right so here you you find uh, let's say for instance let me give an example let's say you have acne mm -hmm. people with acne uh, you're supposed to look for ingredients like salicylic acid uh, or benzoyl peroxide. Now those are the perfect ingredients, they're the active ingredients for this particular. Okay. But you will find this person, they have, uh, they're, they're, they've gone to a dermatologist or they've gone, wherever they've gone and they've been given very strong medications okay. that has uh, pulled down the acid mantle. So which means even if you tell this person to, go, you can't tell this person to go use salicylic acid or benzoyl because the skin cannot handle, the skin is already way too sensitive. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So uh, at the end of the day, I would still recommend do a proper consultation so, right. that you be able, so that you'll be able to look at the skin and be able to understand the texture of the skin, okay. the condition of the skin. All right, I think that was just, unless you want to add anything, I think that was a very good closing remark. But because you didn't know it was a closing remark, I will, love you, uh, I will allow you a minute to just you know, say something very important on skincare inside out. Uh, skincare yeah. inside out. Yes, as your closing remarks, that will be your camera. Okay, skincare is a need and makeup is just a want. Uh, skincare is not just about what you're applying, it's about what you consume as well exercise, drink enough water, uh, apply the best product for your, in, uh, for your skin, and you'll end up with a healthy, glowing skin. All right, so it's not just, oh my God, I have a pimple, and now you want to apply a cream on it. What are you eating as well? What are you eating what as well? What are you well? drinking? Yes, exactly, because we have food that uh, do cause skin conditions like acne, you know, and these are healthy meals. All right. So it could be meat. Hmm. So yeah. When they want to get further information, where do we get you? Because we cannot have enough, uh, you know, done on a very short segment. But how, how can they reach you? Do you have a social media platforms and a, maybe a number you want to share as we close? Yes, my number is 0793-649-716. On social media, Sony Touch. 
Okay. Yes. Sony Touch has graced this particular studios this morning, and we are looking forward to another session with you. Thank you. But for this Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to wrap up. We come back with some political um, environment shortly on the Aspirant Forum. <laughs>